Wow. Well, it's very nice. If not also a touch, touch foreboding with the uh, low singular path there. Let's check it out. The story of Mary Panel is one steeped with numerous versions of events. In this video, I'll cover a few possibilities while focusing on the most likely version I believe happened. She is known to have lived in a small hut in Ledston, West Yorkshire, where she is said to have mixed enchantments and frequently had encounters with evil spirits. Other rumours say that she was merely a herbalist, but when she gave a mixture to a young child named William Witham Esquire of Ledston Hall in 1593, and he subsequently died, she was strongly accused of witchcraft. Although some now believe that this Mary created this mixture, which was meant to revive him from his illness, to be rubbed on the child's chest, but which the mother gave him to drink, causing the child to die. However, the production of this medicine and the child's subsequent death confirmed for many that Mary was in fact a witch, a punishable crime which led to death. The story goes that a young boy named William Withen was brought to her in 1593 with an illness. Mary concocted a herbal liniment, which was intended to be applied to the boy's skin. However, the boy's mother made a mistake and made him drink the brew. Some say he refused and died. Some say he did and was poisoned and died. Mary was accused of his murder and witchcraft. This is where it gets confusing. First, William Witham was not the young son of the owner of the hole. He was the owner and was 47 when he died. Witham did have sons, two of which were called William, but one died in infancy years, and the other survived his father and went on to have his own son. There is also no evidence that Panel was an employee of Witham's, a claim that has expanded in very recent versions to include Witham taking advantage of her. In fact, we know nothing about Panel for sure, although as Wikipedia informs us, it's possible that she may be the same Marie Taylor of nearby Kipax who married a John Panel in 1559. Anyway, these modern changes have likely crept in to make Panel and Witham more sympathetic victims, who in some versions of the story killed their own innocent son and an innocent woman who was trying to help. Originally, Panel is an evil woman to be feared. Today, she is feared in death as a wronged spirit, but otherwise pitied as a victim of prejudice and ignorance. This apparently happened in 1593, but she did not have her execution till after trial and conviction in 1603. The story of her execution differs too. Some say she was hanged in York, and her body brought to the hill to be burnt. Others say she was burnt at the stake alive on the hill outside of Castleford. However, this might be worth noting, witches were never burnt at the stake in England, they were hanged. Whereas in Scotland, they were burnt alive. For those who say she was burnt to death, it is said that she was the last ever witch in Britain to be burned for the involvement in witchcraft. Which isn't true. Many now believe that she haunts the woods which bear her name, Panel Hill, located on the edge of Castleford. Rumour has it that if you see her ghost, which will be leading a horse whilst in the woods, somebody close to you will then die. The story is bloody confusing. But I'ma just, uh, I'm just investigate the best I can. See, does that just take you out to, uh, to the road? Do we cross over the road? I don't bloody know. It's nice though. Oh, so he's got dogs. Not surprised. I guess I could investigate some of these woods. It might be the big thicket across the road there. That was possibly a location. If I wanted to first come to where I saw the signpost. Took me a bit of Google Maps searching to find that. But uh I don't know, it doesn't quite look like the picture I'd seen. So let's see if I can uh, find anything else really. Might have to cross the road. It's a little, little hole there. Yeah. There's one there as well. I'm gonna say rabbits, but I don't, I don't think that's a bit, a bit small. A bit small for a rabbit. Could be like mice or rats. Don't know. Don't know. 
see you in a minute. So yeah, I don't think it's on this side. This is all looking like farmland now. Not, not like massive farmland or anything, but you know, very commonly used footpath. I'll uh, follow this trail. I think it might take me into Lidston. Let's see if, uh, so yeah, I think I think there's woods over there. I think that could be a supposed site. One of the uh, one of the rumors surrounding Mary Panel is um, those who have seen her, her ghost, if you will, say that she's uh, she's leading a horse. And uh, the other really bad thing is if you see her and the horse, supposedly somebody in your family is going to die. I don't know if it's that very moment or sometime in the future. Yet again, a bit vague, isn't it? But uh, you know, that's part of the part of the chase, part of the thrill, isn't it? Finding out for ourselves. I'm not looking, I'm not looking to find her and her horse, if I'm hundred percent honest with you. Because uh, rumor or not, if there's some truth to it, don't want don't want that. Don't want that at all. You know? But we still look into it. See what we find. It's been it's been a while since we've done any kind of investigating, you know? I'm I'm just excited to be back out doing it. Sadly not with the boys. They're uh, they're still down in Cornwall. Bless their hearts. But it's also Anthony's birthday today. I didn't even think about that. Happy birthday, you old codger. See if we can find us a witch, huh? Now this is interesting. So the very end of the footpath, where ends up meeting with the main road, doesn't mention Mary Panel at all. Could it have been somewhere in those bloody hills? Well, I might have to come back this way, so might investigate in a minute or two. Let me just have a look around. Spooky gate. I guess it could be. Could be the hill. It's the only hill there. Fucking hell. I think I know what I'm doing. It's nice, you know. Could be on that side somewhere, but I just haven't really found anything. It's been a fair bit of time walking. And there is a spooky gate up there, but uh, no other way really to get to the other side. No ways across, no other paths, nothing. So I don't know. Cracks. Oh, cracks. They're so deep. They're so deep. Yeah, I've gone all up and down this road now, and it's like no other place you can go. It just keeps bringing me back here. The uh, public footpath back to Kipax. Which makes me wonder if it is somewhere in this range, you know? I might try checking some of these trees out. Maybe it's the ones on the right. They look kind of less. I, I have no idea, I'm afraid. The other side had a thicket of trees, but it was very thick. Like, I don't think you could even get in there. Thick like bamboo, it's crazy. So, uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you in a minute. So, uh, might not be so easy to tell on the camera, but uh, I mean, there, it's just hills everywhere in this small walk. So, how would I know which one is the significant one? 
Just need a sign, Mary, please. Just want to know if I'm close. Help a brother out. <sighs> Let's see. Let's see if I find anything. Oh, Jesus Christ. I was thinking, it's just like, it's like a thin line of trees, really. I mean, I can have a look, but I don't know what I'm going to find. I don't really want to damage any crops, you know. Whoa. Let's see if I can get a closer look for you. Some, uh, some metal there. Pretty strange. That is for sure. It's all very dark. Bit of rubbish. Nothing exciting there. I'll follow it along for a little bit. I'll see if I can find anything. People do come here with dogs. like a dead tree up there. It's the only one that stands out. I guess I'll go check it out. I hear a dog, but I'm not seeing a dog. There were dogs earlier though, so, you know, we are just outside of town. Plenty of people who come walk through here with the dogs, I'm sure. It's just, it's just all like, see what I mean, like thick. Horrible. Bit deep as well, a bit of a ravine ish. Just things falling off trees. Something orange there could be rubbish. Not gonna lie, guys. Not looking great. I'll keep trying. I'll try for a little bit longer. See if we uh, find anything. Moment, I'm, I'm thinking this tree here. One looks a little more dead than the rest. It's kind of significant. Is there another piece of metal there? Is it just like a long plank or something? I can't tell. Huh. <sighs> I just wish I knew what woods, what foresty area. Because they, they tend to mention it. Some people got pictures, but I just, I'm not seeing anything that looks similar to those. So I have no idea. I've even tried closer to Leadstone, but like I told you, they're all thick. Like super thick, almost like bamboo in a creepy way. This is all just a uh, small thicket. But, uh, nothing creepy about it. Nothing off. Get a little bit of a... Ah. That's a bit... That is a bit strange, actually. Hang on. If it is some kind of grave, I don't really want to disturb it, so I'm not going to touch any of those rocks. I'm not sure what it is. Quite specific for somebody to just pile up rocks like that, you know? Nothing else around it, no markers. That's why I'm wondering if the uh, big L one maybe used to signify something at one point, maybe. I don't know. Could this be it? Well, I'm a little doubtful myself. But if it is, I, uh, really sorry for what happened to you, Mary. It's pretty shitty what they did. Accusing you of being a witch because somebody didn't follow the directions you gave them. It's pretty messed up. Pretty messed up, but I am... I'm sorry. Oh, that'll do anything for you, but, uh... Just thought you know you had some sympathy from me. 
really doubt there's much else. I mean, that's interesting to say the least. There's like no other kind of rocks or structure like things I've seen. There's that piece of sheet metal, I thought, but you know. Maybe her hut was here. I guess it's kind of a hill, right? It's kind of. Got some strangeness, but I don't, I don't feel anything weird or. Don't know. Could be nothing. Something up there, maybe? Some kind of colorful orangey. Doesn't look like it's a tree. Might have a little look at that and call it a day. Might start raining in a bit. I'm not looking forward to that. Oh. It's like a big blue war war barrel. What's that doing out here? It's a bit, a bit tricky to get to, I'm not gonna lie. I guess if I go this way. It's almost like somebody did some Grumpy Jack. Looks like some kind of a Gatorade bottle, maybe. These people have been around. Clearly, but this is uh, not 400 years ago. This is just people, yeah, doing the typical old speckled in. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. I'm so sorry. What a mistake you've made. Yeah, none of this looks like this pictures, so. I'm afraid I don't know. I might try to investigate that strange colour thing I saw and sadly that might be the end of the investigation. I just don't have anything else to go on. I, mean, I found some possibly strange stuff. I don't know. But no other significant landmarks nothing else that I can go on I always investigate Ledston Town Hall but I don't even know if it's open today whatever that colour was I'm not really seeing it now it was the uh, excuse me same shade kind of like those yellowy orange not the not the orange orange like the yellowy kind same kind of shade as that but it was bigger i guess it could have just been bigger leaves but these leaves aren't exactly massive i mean i'm talking like it was huge to see from afar that's why i was intrigued so now i'm back at the uh little crossroady bit and uh We've we've just finished checking up all that way. Not a whole lot. Maybe maybe something with the rocks. I'm not 100 percent sure. But uh, I'll just I'll just give this a quick quick once over and we'll uh, call it a day. It was starting to rain a couple of minutes ago. Let's we'll see if it's actually going to rain or not. A lot of grass. I wonder if I make a little... this all quite druhy. Kind of interested in that little, that little pocket there. Hang on. Let's have a quick little look. Huh. What the hell made that squeak? like some kind of a joint like a like a hinge or a door nothing could be a creature could be like a yeah could be a bird or a mouse or something 
Never mind. Right, I think maybe up top. It's gonna be more, more interesting. Looks like a big rock. So crunchy and dry. What the hell? Sound like porcelain. It's like it could be. Well, noise wise, this side's more interesting so far. Some kind of yellow bag there. Maybe it was a concrete bag. Besides birds and stuff. Not much. Just a big ravine going down yet again. Got some random bits here and there, but. Not really getting a uh, creepy vibe. That is suspicious and strange. It's more of those rocks over there. I don't really want to go down if I'm honest with you. I'm not fully equipped for this. This has been Anthony job. It is quite an open spot, isn't it? I just maybe I might go over there and have a little little nose. Yeah, it's strange that they're very similar rocks over here as well as on the other side. They're only in these two spots. You see that? Looks like some kind of grid paper. I don't know. A bit strange, but uh, you know, it could have just been where somebody was living for a while and it's been boarded up. Don't know. Strange, but you know, but not, not haunted or spooky or nothing. Haven't heard noises, haven't seen nothing. If anything, I'm more interested in whatever that structure is way over there. Not the electrical thing, I'm talking about that. Makes me think it's like a, like a little tower or something. All right, I'll have a have a quick nose around, and I think that's it for the day. I don't know if I can go out that way. It looks like I could, but God knows. I mean, look, we we even by the bloody road and stuff. You know, it's if weird stuff's happening here, more people talk about it. But there's so little information on this. I really don't know what else to say. Really don't. Just like nothing. Which is probably for the best. Don't know if you can see, but uh Oh, is that like a big old fucking carpet? Do you see that? Or no, it's not a carpet. There is it's like a fucking bin, but it's got wings on it, like somebody was making a, a little rocket ship or something. That's kind of weird. Weird but not creepy. Right. I think we're good on this side. See you in a minute. I thought that was significant. There's an X on that rock. I haven't seen any others like it. Just walking back after concluding the investigation. It's, it's in the ground, so could have been there a while. 
which is interesting. Well, I've climbed what I think is Mary Panel Hill. And uh, besides some oddities, can't really, uh, can't really say I found anything. Well, back to the studio, I guess. Yay. So we may not have found a witch, but we had a good little time exploring and had a little jolly at the end. Well, that's one investigation down. Many more to come. Let us know what uh, what you want us to look into next. Whether it be Yorkshire-based stuff, which uh, I'll investigate, or if it's uh, down in Cornwall, in which case, Anthony and Dan. See you next time.